Hey there you guys! So today is going to kind of be a um, wrap up and TBR video for August. I'm actually filming this on time this month which is great. Um, I was going to do a vlog for the Booktubeathon. Obviously you guys saw that never happened. Um, the app that I use on my phone to edit stuff because I still don't have a computer or anything like that to edit. Um, and so this is also always going to, I mean, I'm, I always preface it, but that this is going to be kind of unedited and everything. Um, that app, the, the app I'm currently using updated, and I didn't realize that when I went to add a second clip to the video, I actually recorded over the first clip. So, and then it, there was nothing left in the video. So I decided just not to do it, not to do a video, nothing. Um, I did really poorly during the Booktubeathon, so it's kind of okay I didn't vlog. Um, but yeah, so anyway, let's go ahead and get into the um, my wrap up for the month. I read four books this month, which actually is pretty good for myself for the last few months. I've kind of been pretty bad. I've read one to two maybe a month. Um, and three of them I finished this week. So. I'm really in a reading mood right now and it's because of the books that I'm currently reading and the books that I finished. So let me grab the stack of books that I finished this month. So the first book that I finished, I finished during the booktube and that was Cinder by Marissa Meyer. Um, I finally read through this entire book and fell in love with the series. Um, I luckily have all the books in the series already because I've been gifted them or whatever over the last few years and so I have all the books already so I'm currently working my way through this whole series because I am on such a reading high after I finished this book and I just wanted to continue it so I am continuing my way through this series um I don't really want to talk about the synopsis because I'm worried I'm going to spoil something so I will be doing I know this is something somebody some people talked about I will be doing a book review on this book and possibly a book talk about the whole series because my friend Kat and I are kind of buddy reading reading these this whole series together because she's read the first three already so she's rereading and then we're going to finish the series off together and um, I'm super super excited to actually be able to talk to somebody about these books because there's so much that happens um, and they are fantastic fantastic books I highly recommend them um, and I will be doing a book talk on them without spoilers and then we'll go into a spoiler part as well so those are my thoughts on that I gave that five out of five stars I think every single book actually no that's a lie that's three out of the five three out of the four books I read this month I gave five out of five stars the other one I think I gave it a three or something like that so the second book that I finished this month is Scarlet by Marissa Meyer I read this book um, I started it a couple weeks ago and then finished it this week um, such a good book such a good sequel um, again so much happens during this book and I cannot wait to read Cress and Ferrist and Ferris is a, is a companion novel but still Cress and Ferrist and Winter I'm so 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 excited to see how the series can, continues because so much more happened in this book so many more changes so many more twists and turns uh, throughout the series so I'm super excited to continue this the next book that I read is Stuart Little by Evie White. Um, I read this book in an evening um, because I'm actually assistant directing a play that is based off of this book. So I needed to read it for research purposes. Um, and it was a cute book. Um, I think this is the book that they gave. I gave it a three or a four out of five just because it's not, even as a kid, I don't think I would have really read this sort of a book. It didn't really catch my interest. I think this the play that I'm going to be assistant directing is going to be super super cute because it's a bunch of kids and it's going to be adorable um but in terms of the actual physical novel I just didn't didn't really catch my interest very much um and then the last book that I finished this month was I finally read and finished Simon versus the Homo Sapiens Agenda I finished this book and just sat and smiled and hugged the book I finished it that last night for the night before and it I was so just I was so happy it ended so well oh, excuse me um and I just I watched the movie 
a couple months ago, I went and saw it in theaters with my friend and then I knew I had to read the book and so I proceeded to order the book and hadn't read it yet and it just made me so happy because I knew the ending, I knew a lot more reading this book and so the way I was reacting, I was yelling at the book at times because I knew who Blue was and it it was amazing. I just cannot say enough good things about this book but I don't want to say too much because it's going to spoil and I'm worried that I'm going to spoil it. Obviously the book is now out or the movie is now out so there might not be as many spoilers now that the movie is out but still please read this book if you've either seen the movie and you don't think you should read the book because you've seen the movie or anything like that please read the book because the book is fan freaking tastic so those are the books that I finished this month um I'm on a reading high I'm really I'm on a cleaning and a reading high right now I'm really enjoying what I'm doing and getting my life kind of organized I am starting school this fall so I will be taking a class this semester as well as still working full-time and doing theater so I'm gonna be very very busy but I'm hoping to fill my time my extra time with reading as well um, I'm feeling really good because I'm actually getting through a lot of the media that I had just waiting I'm listening to a lot of the podcasts that I've had downloaded I'm watching and catching up on a lot of the YouTube stuff I'm catching up on reading I'm catching up on Netflix I'm getting caught up on all the media things and it's kind of finally lessening because just you see these numbers they're so high and then you start getting the numbers down and it makes you feel good so I'm doing that and it's on all across the board I'm reading I'm getting caught up on my the physical like it's just it's I'm really feeling starting to feel good about what I'm doing in my free time which is nice so now to get on to the books that I plan to read this month I'm not setting any hard parameters on oh I want to read X amount of books um, I did end up lowering my reading goal down to 40 instead of 50. Uh, I just think that is better for myself for the rest of the year that still will help me hit 75 books on my TBR by the end of the year, which will be really, really nice. Um, so yeah, that's, that's my plan. I am, I believe right now, 10 books behind schedule. Um, which is fine. I've read 15 books so far this year, so I have 25 more books to read, which will get me down to 76, I think, because I have 101 books on my um, to-read list right now, my current TBR, physical TBR, which is still a lot, but we're getting closer to getting under 100 and getting double digits, which makes me feel a lot better. Anywho, let me go ahead and talk. The four bo first four books I'm gonna talk about, I've talked about for the last six months. That have been on my TBR. I'm still in the middle of Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Um, I am farther than I was, well, I think the last time we talked, or the last, second last time we talked, I am on page 95 um, of a lot. I'm on page 95 of 734. So, I am about a seventh of the way through this book. It's going to be a while until I finish the book. I just know it is. Until I get... And the, the rule that I know for myself is once I get halfway through the through a book, then I'm super devoted and I'm into it. But I know my reading tastes and my reading stamina. And until I'm halfway through the book, I'm not in the climax. I'm not in the heat of the moment. So until then, I don't really get into it into a book. So it's going to be a while. This is going to be on my TBR until the end of the year. I can already feel it. But next year I can finish Harry Potter. That can be my goal for next year. I also am still only a chapter into Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. Um, I am still planning to read and listen to the audiobook of this one. Um, it's just more so I need to be able to have the time to sit down and read and listen at the same time. Um, and I want to be able to enjoy this book and take my time. So I'm not in a big rush with this one. Um, as soon as I feel the urge to make this my priority I will until then it will just be a side project that I read a chapter of here a chapter of there that sort of thing I am also just keeping this on my TBR pile um, Hans Christian Andersen the complete um, tales of all of his works um, because this is kind of a book that I can just pick up and read a story when I feel like it um, so this will also remain on my TBR shelf until I get through this um, or if I need I do a reading challenge or a reading um, 
anything like that, then I know, oh, well, I can pick up a short story from here if I, if the goal is to read a short story. And this book I am definitely finishing this month, and it is The Hammer of Thor by Mag um, the Magnus Chase book, the second one uh, by Rick Riordan. Um, I have been reading this book for, I can't even tell you how long. I have all the pink sticky notes or all the chapters that I still have to read. And yeah, so this is definitely getting read this month. Um, this and a couple of other books as well. Um, this is another book that I started during the Booktubeathon and just didn't get very far into it. Um, and that is Reboot by Amy Tintera. Um, I am 89 pages away into it, so I'm, I'm pretty far. Um, this is what I've read. This is what I still have to read. So I'm about a, th a fourth end of the book or so. Um, so I will probably finish this one this month as well. Um, I just need to sit down and power through it. And it's really, really good so far. I just didn't get into it in terms of being able to read it because the week that I got back from Italy was... Uh, <laughs> yeah, booktubeathon. So that was awful. Uh, I also will eventually do some form of a haul or something from my Italy and Paris trip. Um, if that's something you guys are interested in seeing, I just haven't really talked about it because it's been a month and it's still surreal that I ever went. So um, I did get two books while I was there. They're in Italian. Um, so when I make that video, I will go ahead and share all those things as well. So that might be in the future if you guys are interested in that. Um, and then the other three books that I definitely want to read this month, and I think you guys can guess where this is going, is um, Cress, Fairest, and Winter, all by Marissa Meyer. Um, the third and fourth and the 3.5 book in the Lunar Chronicle series. Um, I want to read these books. I want to finish the series and get um, Stars Above, which I think is the other short story um, book from the series. I want to get that and read that as well. So those are the many a book that I'm going to be reading this month. If I get to all of them, I kind of just want to be able to clear my, TB, my current TBR shelf of all the things that I'm in the middle of reading. I want to be able to clear that shelf out a little bit. Um, obviously, Goblet of Fire and Little Women and Hans Christian Andersen book will remain there for a while. Um, but you know, the other books I want to be able to clear off my shelf a little bit. And yeah, so I guess that's it for this video today, guys. Um, I am going to be rearranging my room here soon-ish. I don't know how soon, but it kind of just depends on how I get my room reorganized a little bit and get my room cleaned up and purge a lot of things, clean the room out, and then we're going to rearrange my furniture and things like that. So, but other than that, I guess that's it for this video today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and see you guys on my next video. Goodbye!